Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up, like and even share. And if you feel like you are comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love getting positive feedback. And for my returning subs, what's up fam? Much love to you. Much light. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the love and support as always. And coming to see you about the video today. Um, my meditation music I'm listening to in the background is the Chinese Zen for stress and anxiety. So I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, have love for one another. Have love for one another. You never know. Life is too precious and life is too short. To sit up here and live with regret. Live with, you know, not talking to people for petty stuff. Because you never know when you might take your last breath. That's one thing that we take for granted. That, you know, people will always be here. You know, um, today is my dad's anniversary. Um, if you've been with me for a while, or from the beginning, um, on my journey, you would know uh, who my father is. He's uh, Prince Roger Snelson. Um, I've put that in my intro and a lot of my other videos I covered uh, for it. And that's the reason why I started making my videos and search for my mom. And, you know, basically trying to get answers from basically from my past you know wanting to know and it was just so hard um you know going day by day knowing what you know and then it's just like everything just seems to stop um on the 21st it, it just seems like you know this has been the longest 72 hours i can possibly have and it's just like you try to stay positive and you know optimistic about things but it, it just really gave me a, a reflection just on life and just basically the outlooks on how people can really be you know i'm seeing on news coverages there's you know nobody responsible for his death um people giving him prescription medicine knowing he was in pain red flags all over the place but still nobody says nothing nobody says nothing you know there's so many different speculations and and then you're it's one thing to lose somebody that you love dearly. But then when you have to see their body, laying lifelessly, that's just something you can't unsee. Where's the compassion for him? It's like he can't even die in dignity. It's bad enough it is, it is that we have no answers. But then, just to add salt to the wound, you see him. I don't know what the point was on showing his body like that. But what my point is, if you have family, you have close friends that you hold dear, that you just don't speak to over pettiness, over something silly, or something you probably even forgot why you were mad. Why Tell that person you love them, that they mean that much to you. 
because you never know. When that last day, you might not get that chance to say goodbye. Or what are we going to do today? Or what's up for this week? Won't get that anymore. And then you'll be filling your heart with these what ifs. Or I should have. This world is so full of hate. If you're not seeing bodies laying on the ground, you're seeing people getting blown up. If you're not seeing people getting blown up, you're seeing people attacking animals and beating them like it's a sport. We have to get better. It's just like, it, just, it makes you not want to even be here anymore. I'm not trying to hold you guys up. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I didn't mean to be all sappy with y'all today. But it's just one of those moments. Just one of those moments. But if you have somebody dear to you, you know, tell them you love them. Give them a hug. Let them know that you're thinking about them because you never know. Keep me guys in, keep me in your prayers. And I will keep you in mind. And like and subscribe if you haven't subscribe yet drop me a line or two it'll greatly be appreciated as long as it's positive please i said it's been a long week this week and basically i will see you on my next video it'll be on the positive note this one i just had to go ahead and cut out but i'm okay i will much love to you guys or much love to you love bugs and i will see you on my next video peace